back and always drawing. My mother always made sure I took some art classes during vacations. And then she put me into art school and I got a graphic arts degree from what is now Brooklyn Tech. And I worked a little bit in the production house doing uh, commercial artwork in the early 70s, pre-computer, and I wasn't happy with it. So I uh, went to the art school at the University of Memphis State and uh, studied there with some of the uh, um, Chicago School of uh, Abstract Expressionist from the 60s and 70s and uh, it really gave me a more complete feeling as an artist and a lot of confidence and uh, uh, not only did I sold my first oil painting but I have a, a one piece, one painting in the permanent collection at Memphis State University as well as the uh, War Memorial Museum in Nashville. They had their centennial, my centennial art exhibition in 1976 and uh, I won a purchase prize and uh, I have a piece there. So after all of that, I ran back to New York City to uh, get a band together and go play CBGB's, which I did, but um, I uh, got a job in display. I worked for Little Nasty Display and I did major display work at like uh, Santa Land and Macy's. I designed those elves and all those crazy things. And uh, 1979, the computer game exhibition show when like Atari and all those things first came out at Kimball's. I designed that whole computer wall there. I did sax windows and I did major walls up and down the East Coast. And then I got a job in construction and made like four times more money. <laughs> with, with my graphic art degree I was able to uh, go into designing and then constructing co-ops in the village. I worked at Venice Village for five years doing co-ops. And uh, now I make sculpture. I've been, I've been working in construction for about 25 years, but I was always like a manager. I started inspecting about eight years ago, and I started like looking at the stuff I had. And there's just such a, a lot of things in different scales and materials that I'd never really noticed before. I'm a masonry inspector, so I make a mortar sample every day. So every day, I have a little bit left over from my sample. So the first thing I made was I lost the piece, that's right here. For something like this, I just made a little square. And I, on the floor, I picked up pieces of wood and made some uprights, verticals. And I put a row of verticals together. And you have a conversation. It's kind of a classical design. And then when I photographed it, it like shape shifted. It like became like this huge monument, it looked like. So uh, the people around me said, hey, this looks pretty cool. And uh, I was off to the races. I was convinced that there was something going on with the border. And uh, so I just uh, proceeded. Uh, you know, I always work small because I am in a small area and it gets very heavy. But uh, then I started making larger pieces and using my knowledge of structural masonry and things like that. Um, it's become more exciting, the, sp the space has become better rather than doing kind of reliefs. I find it easier work on both sides. I mean, uh, a lot of my work is pieces like this, which I make in a square mold, and this is uh, 12 inches. I usually do this work for two inch. But, uh, you know, uh, I'm never really sure what I'm gonna make or uh, which way I'm gonna show it. Uh, this way I is a good sculpture. But, you know, on both sides, you know, you start getting into this kind of abstract expressionist kind of movement thing, and then, you know, you start thinking about cubism and drawing and scraping things away. And uh, so, you know, I'm not sure. A lot of times I'll take a piece like this and wind up putting it up this way. And, uh, you know, uh, making a head of a different sort or, or an eye or some other uh, thing. Sometimes it's just purely abstract. I did a lot of pieces with these uh, springs out this way, but somehow when I put them leaning back this way, it like took off. And uh, so, um, uh, and also this this is the back side that I cast down in the box. So I cast them both at the same time. So it'll be sand that I put the rocks in and everything. So you know, you get a different kind of uh, organic shape. Where this is the control side. And, uh, 
spend a little more time in it. But uh, I just really enjoy it. These, these pieces just really, um, I just have no, no end to the inspiration I receive. And uh, this picture here is of the Essex Column, uh, which I have in the uh, Southland Reservation, which from a distance is very architectural. And, um, you know, it looks like it's actually the construction of a column. So, but the closer you get, the more you start seeing the interior and the two-dimensional qualities, like this picture brings out. Uh, and uh, the, the space is different. So, uh, I really have been flipping back and forth between the uh, sculptural and the two-dimensional qualities of my work, and I haven't paid a lot of attention to it recently. So, but uh, you know, keep going. Well, what did you expect when you come to my studio? Well, this piece, the other two pieces, which was on display here at 1978 Gallery, as well as the JCC for their uh, hair in the Gallery Jury Lodge. And uh, I'm working on a new piece, so hopefully you'll see a new piece of mine, either done or in, in progress. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking of about leaving one in the mold, so I'll actually break the mold and show you how I um, take this thing out, because uh, a lot of this is just free casting in a box, which is, I kind of invented a lot of new procedures for doing this, okay? My, the SS column, I do so many castings, and to make one of those cubes, sometimes right, there's a hundred different castings in that box. But um, it's all done quickly, and I need an assistant, and uh, so hopefully I have a new piece. I also have a couple of nice outdoor sculptures. Joanne has a beautiful garden, which is always special at that time of the year. And I plan to have my best pieces shown without a lot of clutter. Usually I throw everything out there. And also I, I, I've been starting to have some small pieces so you can make your own little design or take your favorite piece, whatever. Or, you know, it's inexpensive. You know, $10 or something like that. So, uh, and, uh, you know, we always have good refreshments. And uh, hopefully uh, see good artwork. Usually I have a pretty good attendance. I get about 40 people. Yeah, I think it'll be good. I really thank you for the opportunity.